This court is now in session. The prisoners are charged with speeding, littering, and resisting arrest over the Boomstone city limits. Six months hard labor and confiscation of the offending vehicle. What? You can't do that. The Sea Duck's private property. Not anymore. Gomer, you have got to stop this. You're not the sheriff. You are not the judge. You're just an employee of Con Enterprises like the rest of us. Oh, Clementine, why are you making such a big deal out of this? Because you're forcing anyone who happens along to work in that horrible mine. Until Con tells me different, we're running things my way. How's he supposed to tell anyone anything when you've got the only phone and it's been broken for weeks? You just keep writing Con those reports, and we'll keep mailing them till we hear different. Take them away, Wendell. What's Con got to do with this? He owns the town and the silver mine. Well, look here, Cowboy Bob. We just happen to be pals of Mr. Sheer Khan. You better let us go if you know what's good for you. Mr. Khan may own this town, but he don't run it. I do. Now put these pals of Mr. Khan to work. When Khan hears about this, you won't be dog catcher for mud puddle. And how's he gonna find out? Why, uh, he, he'll read Clementine's reports. You know anything about any reports, Wendell? <laughs> Not a thing, Sheriff. What old Con doesn't know won't hurt me. What is this stuff anyway? It's not silver. It's your gonium, son. We ran out of silver quite a while ago. Then our mining machines came across a vein of the stuff. <laughs> it looks like it didn't agree with them. Your gonium has a peculiarity that's hard on machines and miners. That's why we have to arrange for special volunteers to work the mine for us, like you all. What kind of peculiarity are we talking about? One that will have armies and demolition companies paying out of the nose for every teeny tiny piece. This is kind of pretty for a rock. Put that back where you got it, fuzz for brains. Anything you say! <laughs> That's a pretty peculiar peculiarity, all right. You guys see my cap? I don't believe it. What's the matter? You two look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, look! Wildcat looks just like Khan. Well, uh... I guess there's no use pretending anymore. No, no use pretending, all right. Pretending what? <clears throat> <clears throat> They've discovered your secret, Mr. Khan. Oh, oh, yeah. Sure. My friends would call me sure, but I don't have any friends. Oh, well, Mr. Khan, what are you doing here? Uh, all dressed up and such. I always dress this way, except on my birthday. I have a special suit for that. What the chairman means is that he always dresses this way when investigating such things as, uh, missing reports. Uh, Wendell, uh, get the plane ready to fly our illustrious guest back to town. When he's sufficiently rested, we'll have the explanation he so richly deserves. Aren't you gonna lock the door? Nah. The only way out of here or Boomstone is by plane. Besides, they like it here. So that's the great and powerful con. And he has a plane. Our ticket home. <laughs>